people of the internet, my name is Johnny and we just got a massive, massive trailer for the upcoming FNAF Help Wanted 2 game, brand new details on what mini games we can see, and even a release date. If you cannot tell, I am super, super excited. I hope you guys are too. We've been waiting so long for more updates on Help Wanted 2. So subscribe to the channel because we will be doing a full playthrough once it releases next month. The exact date we're going to find out in just a second. But first up, we have a minute and a half brand new gameplay play trailer captured on PlayStation VR 2 to take a look at. So here we go. I'm so excited. I'm not seeing this. Time to clock in. Hand unit. First day FNAF 6 as well. Can be daunting. Anxiety Ooh, inducing. I didn't like PSVR 2 required. Fazbear Entertainment is it an exclusive? Is I hope not. I don't have one. Maybe we want to play through. <laughs> I don't know. Location, you are given the Ooh, is that the new hub? Lane. Captain Fox what is back? You? The a staff bot security breach levels? Technical support? We saw this. This is the carousel. No, help me! What the hell's going on with him? There's an endoskeleton. What? Test driving one of our ride attractions. Okay. Pirate rides back. What's this? Oh my goodness, Roxanne, looking mighty fine. <laughs> what the frick is that? Pokemon? Oh, is that, is that not the hub? It's Moon. One way to find out. FNAF 1 remastered? What the hell was that? Ballora? This looks like the private room. Fun time Freddy's breaker room. Oh my god, he looks awesome. Music Man! Dreadbear! Freddy, what? Oh my god, that's gonna be terrifying! Scar Baby! What is this? Are we gonna make a paper plate? Oh my god! December! December. Now Come on. Accepting applications. Give me a release date. Scrap baby jump scare. Oh, she hits us with her claw. December, baby. Holy crap. What an insane trailer. All right, let's go back. Fazer blast. Oh, that's interesting. At first, I thought this was the hub. Obviously not. Okay, so we got the FNAF 1 location. We see later on in the trailer, stuff pops up here. Looks like we have to throw darts or shoot a gun. Uh, very like, um... Uh, a, car a carnival or fair mini game. The opportunity to we get a captain. These environments Ride look so lane. good. We get Pirate Ride 2, I'm assuming. Like, this looks like Pirate Ride 2. Because we got the score here. We got the different targets we can hit. Captain Foxy. What interests you? A security breach level. This is the, this is one of the arc. This is the superstar arcade. Oh my god, this looks, this looks so good. Customer service. Looks like we get to make like nachos and different foods for the staff bots. Technical support. So this is the carousel ride with the moon. We've seen this. Safety and Helpy. So it looks like we're getting parts and service too. Or, or kind of something similar to that because we see this minigame with Helpy. It looks like we have to fix up his body parts. We saw one with Glamrock Freddy. We saw like a makeup one with Roxanne. Security. Then we get like a tile matching game with a glam rock endoskeleton. Oh my gosh! Okay, so he's got a he's got a headset on, which is interesting. That seems probably lore relevant. Um, looks like we're in the um the 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 daycare. Perhaps. Yep. So here's Pirate Ride Two. Test driving one of our ride attractions. This looks so good. Maybe you are more suited. <laughs> then we get to doll up Roxanne. And fashion with service oh, she looks at us, her eyelids twitch as we put on the makeup. The stars. That's gonna be such a fun mini game. We get to make our own paper plate pal with the sun. A little of everything. And it seems pretty similar to um the Dreadbear mini game in Curse of Dreadbear, where we're going to get a template of what we have to copy, and then we have to put on the correct accessories, arms, mouth, etc. Bonkabon. Yeah, and then we get this again. So it seems like there's going to be some segment of mini games that are like carousel or fair theme. Whatever. Here's repair Helpy. He, what the, he's foaming at the mouth. We what did we do to poor Helpy? Is the moon? There's only one way to find out. What is this mini game? What was that mini game? I can't tell what this is. We're, we're pressing some panel. It's C. It might be DJ Music Man with the purple lights. I don't know. This is the private room, I'd assume. Yes, yes, this is the private room. Oh my god, private room in VR. Oh my gosh, and we get this mini game again. Oh, so not only, not only do we have to match the tiles with this endo, 
we also have other threats coming towards us, like other endoskeletons, and we have to flash the faz cam. Oh, that's gonna be terrifying. Here's Ballora in parts and service. Or, um, not parts and service, the private room. Which is interesting, because she's in the Custom Knight private room, not the actual private room with Ennard. So I wonder if we're gonna get a mix of both? I'd hope so, at least. I'd love to see a solo fight with Ennard in VR. Her animations look beautiful. This whole game looks fantastic. All right, we got Funtime Freddy. M Dude, Music Man, I'm gonna lose my shit at Music Man. He looks absolutely terrifying. So we got Dreadbear here as well. He's pointing towards something. Oh, we have different segments. Hey, number one crate. Nice. We have different segments in the Fazer Blast mini game. And we have to shoot. We have to shoot away the plush baby. Here we got parts and service with Glamrock Freddy. Look at how terrifying that is. And how shaky that pers that person was playtesting it. We get some minigame in the daycare again. This looks like the daycare. Music Man's animations are insane. This is, once again, with Helpy. We do see a vent here. So I'm wondering if something's going to try and attack us while we're fixing Helpy. Well, there's my answer. Here's freaking Scrap Baby. Oh my gosh, who- Pepper's Pickled Popcorn? What? Dude, the animations. Yeah, so there's the template we have to copy. Oh my god. It just- it looks insane! It looks now absolutely insane! Oh. And the Scrap Baby jump scare with the claw. December. All right, now we have a brand new PlayStation blog to take a look at. First up with a brand new screenshot of the Roxanne level. Here we can see it looks like the different areas that we get to customize on Roxanne. We get to doll her up, make her look all pretty. I'm Ray McCaffrey, executive producer from Steel Wolf Studios, and I speak for our entire team when I say that we are thrilled to finally give y'all a sneak preview of what you can expect to see in FNAF Help Wanted 2. We will cover the overarching gameplay details, touching on what makes this game different from its predecessor, and the unique unique PSVR 2 features we're leveraging to plunge uh, players into the world of FNAF in an entirely new way. So it does seem like it's a PSVR exclusive. I pray that's not the case. Our primary goal when designing Help Wanted 2 was to make it dynamic enough that players would want to dive in repeatedly. I love that. For more than a few mini games, we've kept the spirit of the original to take players through the curated experiences that we've crafted. However, ensuring the vast majority of games would be different each time you played was our main target. That sounds perfect. I love that. There are six categories of mini games: the backstage, the fazcade, staff only, food prep, ticket booth, and a special category containing the new VR versions of FNAF sister location gameplay. Go backstage as a VIP with Roxanne Wolf in the Pizzaplex salon. She loves being up close and personal with those who adore her almost as much as she terrorizes though who ruin her good looks. Being fashion forward, she has a menacing menagerie of makeup and accessories to choose from for a new style every time. She's not the most patient of the band though, so while you're glamming her up, you'll want to get it perfect every single time. Head into the fast Cade and enjoy classic games like Bonkabon and Fazer Blast. You'll need some precision and quick reflexes to get the high scores. If you're a crack shot with lightning fast reflexes, you may live long enough to see them. And then we also get a brand new look at Fun Time Freddy. Staff our safety and security team to perform basic first aid for guests who aren't feeling quite like themselves. That's referring to Glamrock Freddy. Uh, whether it's a small patch up or curing rabies. <laughs> That was help, help he had rabies? You've got to have it covered. Fazbear Entertainment doesn't have the necessary license to stock any sedatives. So be delicate as possible when sawing off limbs because your patient's screams will draw unwanted attention. So help he's gonna scream, Scrap Baby's gonna be alerted by the screams and try to come and get us. What? Hop over to the counter at L Chips and get the federally mandated amount of value preparing food here at the Pizzaplex. While it's hard not to question what the nacho cheese is made of, it's even harder to keep up with the near endless combinations of possible orders during dinner rush. Remember, the staff bot serving orders do not need to sleep, eat, or stop, ever. Don't get distracted wondering if you're the only human employee left. That seems like lore. Head over to the ticket booth and catch a ride on Captain Foxy's cowboy adventure. On this light-hearted log ride, you'll float through the Old West as a gunslinger in the search of booty. In the event of a breakdown, 
Oh, the red's gonna break down at one point? Please remain calm while the staff finds your location. You may be inadvertently drifted off course. <gasps> so in the original Captain Foxy's adventure, there were alternate paths you could take. I wonder if there's gonna, oh, obviously they're gonna return, but I wonder if we go too far in one, if we're going to be attacked, kind of like how the Jackos attacked us uh, in the original Captain Foxy ride. If you're short on dread, dive into the world of Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Between keeping Funtime Freddy busy while repairing electrical breakers or surviving a classic security office game until 6 a.m., this fan favorite brought to life is as fun as it is terrifying. It's an experience littered with custom VR gameplay. So it does seem like it's going to, you know, implement custom night, um, from sister location. And then we get this screenshot of the helpy repair. He looks so terrified of Scrap Baby over here. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. Thanks to the unique features of the PSVR 2 headset, I don't like where this is going, we've also created a more engaging horror experience through controller haptics, 3D audio, and so, so much more. The rumble within the headset has been hooked up to our most terrifying moments, adding a level of physicality <clears throat> to jump scares not previously possible. Lastly, Thanks to the PSVR's 2 eye tracking system, players will have their minds read by the fortune teller Mystic Hippo. A mini game has been built exclusively for the PS5 where players can challenge her ancient power her. Is this not Mr. Hippo? Of ancient powers of perception. What? Pick a card, any card, and she'll peer through you to see what it is. If you're also attuned to the supernatural, you can try and block her sight, but she will also guide you through everything Help Wanted 2 has to offer. And that's it. Thanks so much for taking the time to read all of this. You'll be able to get your hands on the dozens of minigames in Help Wanted 2 on December 14th, 2023. What an absolutely insane, insane devlog and trailer. This is looking to be the best FNAF game, hands down. Graphically, gameplay-wise, like, the fact that they're going with replayability as their main focus, I love that. One thing I don't like, though, is the PSVR 2 exclusive. It, it didn't mention anything about Steam, which is crazy to me. I understand there is a lot of amazing, amazing, truly amazing stuff you can do with the PSVR 2. Like, they listed out the 3D audio, the eye-tracking stuff. But VR is already such a niche gaming market. To limit it to one headset is baffling to me. I pray, I really, really do pray, for my sake and for many other FNAF fans' sake, it also launches on Steam. Because, wow, how are you going to do your fans like that? I am very curious, what are your guys' thoughts on this devlog, on this trailer, all the brand new looks and gameplay we've seen for Help Wanted 2? How excited are you guys? And are you going to be playing it? Are you going to buy a PlayStation VR 2 headset just to play it? Seems like I might have to do that, which is going to cost a lot of money. But we'll figure it out because I absolutely have to play this game. It looks like a freaking blast to play. Again, I cannot, cannot believe how good this game looks. I'd love to know what are your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye, December 14th.